Hello there, this is Jim from Don't Call Me a Vegan. I'm just back from about an hour bicycle ride uh, here in Tucson. It's a beautiful day today, first day in the 90s. And uh, while I was gone, I had some things roasting in the, uh, in the oven. And so I have this tray, this cookie sheet that I've lined with parchment paper. And I have uh, Roma tomatoes. I have some uh, just red bell pepper. I have an Anaheim uh, pepper. I have a, a bulb of garlic with all the cloves cut off and I put just a teeny bit of olive oil on top. And uh, I've got a little avocado I'm gonna put in it. Well, I'm making, I'm making a soup. And so it's gonna be a roasted tomato and pepper and garlic soup and a little avocado. And I've got some veggie broth here just in case I need to thin it out a little bit. For salt, I have, I have added no salt. I'm going to put just a little bit of Bragg's Liquid Aminos in there, which will give it a little bit of uh, saltiness. I, I go very low sodium when I cook. I've got some black pepper, which I kind of put black pepper in everything, so I'll grind some and uh, some Italian seasoning. And I've got the tips from the top of the, uh, the garlic that uh, I'm going to put in there, some fresh garlic, and then this avocado for some creaminess. And, just, and then I'll taste it, and if it needs a little more spiciness, I have some chili powder ready to go, I have some Cajun hot sauce, similar to Tabasco, and then I even have some Thai sweet chili sauce if, if I feel that it needs a, a little bit of sweetness. And then roasting in the oven here, I have uh, uh, sweet potatoes and uh, tofu that I'm going to use for other things, but I also have a, uh, a few carrots here. So burning my hands. I've got a few carrots that I've roasted a little bit and those will go into the soup as well for some sweetness. And so all this stuff has been in the oven like I said for about an hour and it took me a few minutes just to chop this stuff up and I always put things on parchment paper which makes the, the cleanup so much easier and it just simply and you know who knows if all this stuff's even going to fit. I think it will. I've eyeballed it pretty good. Um, but I also have a big uh, measuring cup here in case I have too much and I have to uh, take some out. But I'm basically going to blend this all together really quickly. I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to blend it super fine. I like things a little chunky. Uh, i got to squeeze all these, uh, hopefully these will cooperate. Squeezing the, the roasted garlic. I'm trying not to get the, uh, the paper <laughs> from the garlic. Boy, this stuff sure is sticky, isn't it? I'm trying to get the roasted garlic in there. If there's a few bits of paper in there, I mean, you know, you'll, you'll get them on your palate and pull them out with your finger, you know. But but really, oh boy, that tastes good. The roasted garlic is just so yummy. Yeah, it's kind of mummy, messy. I guess I should have done this before I started the video. But you're getting to see the real deal, and and you're seeing how quickly I can do this. You know, this is not taking me very much time at all. I mean, really, the amount of time I put into this isn't much more than opening a can of Campbell's and putting it on the stove. And I'm going to have a really yummy soup. And then actually, uh, my granddaughter uh, back in uh, Chicago is supposed to be calling me soon. She's uh, going to be all set up on the island at, at, at our house there uh, to have tomato soup. And uh, we're going to have lunch together. So I'm very excited about that. Try not to make a big mess here. I'm hurrying for two reasons. One, because uh, she's supposed to call pretty soon. And two, I just want to show you how easy it is to do this stuff. You know, uh, people ask me, well, gosh, you know, you being plant-based must really limit what you can eat. Yeah, right. It's pretty much unlimited what I can eat. And I eat some pretty darn good stuff, in my humble opinion. And, uh... I'm going to put some veggie stock in there, I don't know how much, just to make it a little liquidy. Here comes the, the Bragg's Liquid Aminos and just a few splashes here and there. And I hope you can see all this okay. I'm going to grind some fresh black pepper on top because, you know, in my humble opinion, most soup doesn't have enough black pepper. I guess I'm kind of a black pepper addict. And then I'm just going to maybe put a, a teaspoon of... Uh, Italian seasoning in there. Uh, just eyeballing it a little bit. And what the heck, just for a little bit of depth. I'm gonna throw some, uh, throw some uh, 
chili powder in there just because I like it so much. And just for a teeny bit more sweetness, I'm going to add some Thai sweet chili sauce, May Ploy. Love that stuff. All right, and then one, one more thing. Running over here. I just happen to have a really nice uh, California Sauvignon Blanc that I'm having trouble getting open because my fingers are slippery. I'm going to add just a, maybe that's a quarter cup of white wine. My favorite is uh, Sauvignon Blanc. And then we're going to see, we're going to see how it blends up. Wish me luck. And here we go. Oh, oh. All right. This is a Cuisinart, so I'm just going to pulse it, get it going, and then try to, try to get through the chunks. All right, and there we have it. Let that settle down because it needs a... Oh boy, that smells really good. And I, I usually roast things about an hour. But I tell people just, you know, when you smell something roasting start to smell good, that's usually when it's getting close to being done and you just, just monitor it. So, like I said, I've got this big old Pyrex cup here. And I'm going to, yeah, that's a, that's a little chunkier than I want it to be. So I'm going to thin it out a little bit with a little more veggie broth. I should have tasted it. Well, we'll see. Let me just... Alright. Come on, baby. Alright, now I'm getting out the tasting spoons. See how we did. Oh yeah, baby. That's really good. No, I mean, that's really good. Put in a little more veggie broth to thin it out a little bit. We got a little more black pepper. It doesn't really have a whole lot of spice to it, so I'm going to put some Tabasco-like substance in there. And even a little more chili powder, just for, just for fun. And then a little more, just a teeny bit more Italian seasoning, maybe another half teaspoon. All right, and now I'm going to crank this. Okay. Now I'm going to get a ladle of some sort. Let's use this cup here. And I'm going to show you in a bowl how it turned out. So. See that there? It's not super hot right now, but oh man, that is so good. So fresh, so much, so much going on with that. I can just almost taste the healthiness to it, but yet it's just super, super yummy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I just want to show you how easy it is to make soups. I'm going to make a, another soup uh, later, a video, uh, I think it's going to be a cream of uh, sweet potato soup because I've got some sweet potato chunks roasting in the oven right now. And so if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to my channel and forward it on to your friends. Anyway, I hope you folks take care. Bye-bye now.